Thanks for joining me for a very special GED Math problem of the day. I say it's very special because this has to do with distributing and the FOIL method, which is very important for the GED test. So here's your problem right on the screen. Consider, consider 2x minus 1 times 3x plus 11. How can the two binomials be distributed? So get to work on this, try it out for yourself, and then we'll go over it, of course. Okay, hopefully you had a chance to do this. So today I'm going to bring some of my notes in from my GED Math Champions Guide. You can get the 50 free practice problem version down below, but I am just want to show you where I'm getting these notes from. That's where this problem comes from. So for just a minute, let me make this problem vanish. And I want to throw some definitions up here. So this is going to be very boring, so I apologize to that, but this stuff is important. So you can put this down in your notes, and in fact you probably should. But like I said, I apologize for some boredom here, but we have to go over this stuff. So polynomials have three parts. We have the constants, the variables, and non-negative exponents. The parts can be combined by addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, as long as there's no division by a variable. A monomial is a polynomial with only one term, and a binomial is a polynomial with two terms that are each monomials. Lastly, a trinomial is a polynomial with three terms that are each monomials, and we're going to look at some examples of this at the end of the explanation. Actually, no, we're not going to. I just wanted to put that up there so that when I'm talking about binomials here, you know what exactly I mean. So I apologize for some boredom there, but we had to get that out of the way. Now let me pull the problem back up here. So we're talking about binomials here, and we see two examples of binomials. So we had to get that out of the way. Now I'm going to pull up my FOIL chart here. So FOIL stands for first, outer, inner, last. So hopefully you can see this clearly up on the screen. And this is also comes from my GED Math Champions Guide although the FOIL method has been around for ages, but this chart that you're seeing on the other side does. So let me just also draw it nice and big up here. And you'll definitely want to get this in your notes because this is important. So F is for first, O is for outer, we got inner, and we got last. And so essentially what you're going to do for outer is you take the first number and you're going to multiply that by the outer number. Or you know, I'll just show you here with this example, but you can see kind of a little map over here where you've got outer in red, first in blue, and we have yellow is the last and then inner is in black. So let's start with the first. So we're going to take the first number of each or the first term in each binomial and we're going to multiply them. So here our F is going to be the 2x and 3x. So let me mark that with an F here. So let's multiply the coefficients. And when I say coefficients, I just mean the numbers that are in front of the x's. So 2 and 3. 2 times 3 gives us 6. And x times x is going to give us x squared. So we've got 6x squared, and that's our F. Okay, so now that we've got our F, let's do the outer next. So for outer, what we want to do is we want to take this 2x, and we want to multiply that by the outer term, which is 11. Okay, so let me draw an O here. So we see that, that 2x and 11 are, is going to be the outer term. So let me add a plus sign here because we're going to add this. So 2 times 11 is going to be 22. And x has to go along for the ride since it's really it's 2x times 11. Okay, so next we've got, so we've got the first and we've got the outer. So now we've got to go with our inner here. So the inner is going to be negative 1 times 3x. Okay, that's going to be our inner, the negative 1 times 3x, and it's important to remember that negative 1. So now what we do is negative 1 times 3 is negative 3, and it's negative 1 times 3x. And so we've got this here in the center, and it's important, like I said, keep that negative sign here. So we're going to be working with like terms in just a minute at the end. So like by like terms, what I mean is the two terms that have x's, we're going to be adding them together. And so we got to work with like terms here as much as possible. And so last would be our negative 1 and 11 since we haven't worked with that yet. So negative 1 times 11 is just minus 11. So now we've just got to simplify this and we, we know that 6x squared is going to be the same. And now 22x minus 3x. So you can think of it in two ways. You can think of it as 22x plus negative 3x or just 22x minus 3x, whichever is easier and we see that that's going to be 19x. And it's going to be positive, remember, because 22 is, is bigger than negative 3. And you can always just plug that in your calculator. And then we're going to have, just bring down our negative 11. And so right here, we see that the answer is D. 
And so that's the answer. So this is very important. Hopefully this makes sense, guys. Put this foil stuff down in your notes. It is important. And let me know if there's anything I can clarify about this or if you want to see more example problems. Guys, go look on your test. This is in my Champions Guide. You can get that down below, the free version. Click that link if you'd like to. And give me a thumbs up and click subscribe if you want. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.